I mean, I wanted to do a film. I mean, because uh, there was a, f I was in film school back then, and I had to shoot my final thesis film, and I had no idea, and I was very like kind of worried that what I'm gonna shoot. So I took a flight to Delhi, and I heard two ladies. One of them was talking about their maid's daughter who was abducted, and she was sold to brothel, and she was like, I think, 12 years of. So I decided that I'm gonna write a film, a script, on her life the way I want her life to be, like from the moment she was abducted and she was sold to brothel and now she's living in brothel. So that inspired me to write this script. I never thought about film festivals or anything that could follow, but like it always helps and it always encourages. It's a big, it's big encouragement. Like once my film got selected, it's also got selected in many other film festivals. I mean, I learned so much from this, making this film, because I wrote the, like, one of the initial draft on the airplane, and then I went to my home. In my room for three days, I wrote a third draft, and then I took a plane to Mumbai, and in Mumbai, there's Asia's, one of the biggest brothel, red light area. So I went there, and I took a model in nearby, and I would go and talk to the, like, all the prostitutes, and I remember f uh, one of them, they told, no, I'm interested in talking to you. And I told them that I'm a writer, I'm gonna write a piece on your, like, stories. And I'm, for like, for a week I met few of them and then I called all of them at one time and I told them that I'm a writer as well, but I'm a film director as well. So would you mind if I use this information that I have taken from you in one week and I make a movie on it? So they were, they were like, in unison, everybody said, no, we are fine with it. And they just, they wanted me not to use any name, which I told them that I promised them I will not. And I remember there is one of the girl who was back in the brothel, I, when she used to talk to me, I mean, she inspired me a lot. And most of the story in the film is hers, a film. And when she saw a film and she loved it and her reviews, that was the best day and best, what do you say, reviews I could have ever had from anybody. Well, I want my audience to take away from the film is actually I want them to get closer to society they are not they are they they don't know exist in the world like here in America or in like other developed countries there is society but that's not that much like back in India where the story is from there is so much of things that 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 shouldn't be there so I want my audience to be not just to get closer a little bit to the world to know the world that they are living in you know the big buildings and AC and money and cars and screen that's not the world it has changed me a lot as filmmaker because first thing that I saw was like I mean I have done so many films but in this film I had a very rigid mind that I want this thing to be converted from my mind to the screen same but once we got on production there were so many technical problems that we couldn't do and there were location problems actually when i was like uh, in the production there were so many scenes that was like systematic wise but once we got on pr uh, post production i changed the whole script in post production so that was the best thing that i made it much more what do you say is interesting that it was on the paper for me i learned that post production is one of the like most important phase of filmmaking.